Welcome, Doors. Whether your business provides IT consulting, construction, or even event organizing services, you can always benefit from a link between your sales app and your project app. Whenever a service is sold, a project, task, or both can be automatically created. This connection not only streamlines your services, but also simplifies time tracking and invoicing, and ultimately saves everyone time. That sounds amazing, because here at the Dinosaur Museum, we are offering a whole new team building package. Would it be possible to set it up together? Of course. Let's go ahead and take a look into RTB. All right, let's start by going into our sales application and into products. Since the uh, Dynamite team building is a completely new product, we're going to go ahead and click on new. We will set it up as a service, of course. And as soon as we click on that, we have a couple more options showing up. We have the invoicing policy, which we will see more in detail uh, in later videos. So for now, we'll just say that this is uh, priced at a fixed price of, let's say, 800. And the field that really interests us in this case is create an order. So here we can choose if you want just a task, a project and a task, or just a project to be created. I will say for uh, this example that we want a project and a task to be created. I will save uh, this product and let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like in action. So we'll go ahead and create a new quotation. Let's say for these customers here, add a product, we'll add our new dynamite team building and hit confirm. And as soon as that's done, you see that I have new smart buttons popping up here. I have projects and I have tasks. So I'll just go ahead and show you. If I click on the tasks, uh, you see my one little task that was created. And another thing that I could do is also I could go into the project view right here. And I will see that I have the dynamite team building task for Mr. and Mrs. Diggs. If I click on it, I see my Kanban view and my one task that was created automatically. This is awesome. Uh, but at the moment, the project feels a little bit empty. Do you think it will be possible to have it pre-filled with some tasks automatically? That's a great question. Uh, because indeed, when we sell service packages, a lot of times we know that um, as soon as the sale is made, we will have to create the same uh, kind of set of tasks to start working on. So it is possible to set it up in Odoo. I will show you how. Let's go ahead and take a look at our all of our projects, actually. Because what we will do is we will create a new project that will essentially act as a template that we will then link to our uh, sales product. And uh, it will be used by the system to create a new uh, project every time a sale is made with our Dynamite team building. So let's hit new here. We will call it... Dino, let's just call it Dynamite Team Building. And the important thing here is that the project needs to be billable, so it's possible to select it for our uh, sales orders. I'll click on Create. And we will have to start by designating our Kanban stages. Uh, let's say we will always have new, ongoing, um, let's say customer feedback, customer. It can, of course, be absolutely whatever you need for your specific business case. And we'll create some tasks. So this is the, uh, the crucial part. So those are the tasks that we know we will have to handle each and every time we create a team building uh, service package. So let's say uh, we will always need to confirm our participants. Right, that's very important. I need to know how many people uh, are coming. Then the next thing we always need to do is finding a venue. Uh, let's add that. And we could also say uh, something a little bit more fun. Every time we sell a Dynamite team building package, we provide the clients with custom-made t-shirts. So you always need to print the t-shirts for the event and I'll add this task. We can even say that uh, those tasks uh, have some more features pre-configured. So we could say that confirming participants is always the most important thing to do. We can start as a high priority task. Uh, we could also say that finding venue, for example, is always assigned to the same colleague because it's always uh, Dina handling finding venues. Um, and that's essentially it. We could even 
drag and drop just for the purpose of this exercise, could drag and, drag and drop one of the tasks. Um, and now our project template is ready. Let's go back into the sales application, into our products. We have our Dynamite team building right here. And this is the field that we're interested in this time, so the project template. I will select Dynamite team building, so the one that we have just created, and go ahead and create another quotation of this product. So let's say here, uh, Dynamite team building. Let me go ahead and hit confirm. And you see that instead of having uh, one task, as before, we already have four tasks created immediately in this new project linked to the sales order. If I click on tasks, it takes me to our Kanban view and you can see that even though it looks exactly the same, this is a new project uh, created specifically for this sales order. So whatever I do here is only applicable uh, here. My template is still existing in my project application. Uh, and I can continue doing my work. So I can create more tasks, I can work on these tasks uh, and move forward with completing this team building. So hopefully this was helpful for you in uh, understanding how to use sales orders with your projects and tasks, as well as using uh, project templates. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.